guys, welcome back. Uh, it's Nate with Fish in Michiana. Today is May 23rd. Uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful day out today. We're looking at two to three mile an hour south winds. Uh, water temperature uh, is about 61 degrees. And uh, today's gonna be a great day because today I take my dad out fishing and I can't think of anything better to do on Memorial Day weekend than go out fishing with my old man and do what we grew up doing, which was cat fishing. So. It's my chance to repay the favor to him for all the years that he drug my ass out early in the morning out to South Money Reservoir uh, to hook up with some catfish and uh, got me hooked. So uh, it's my chance to give it back to him. We're out here at Berrien Springs. We are targeting uh, channel catfish and flatheads. And uh, we're gonna do the same cut bait system we've been doing with bluegills. Um, I wanna start off this video by saying, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend. I wanna thank all of our servicemen and women uh, across the country. Anybody watching this, a uh, special thank you to the people in my life that I know that are veterans. Um, Joe Jensen, uh, saw you out at Simonton Lake yesterday, buddy. It was good seeing you. Uh, he's got his uh, Facebook page, Elkhart Fins and Fur. If you're not on that, check that out. It's, a, it's an awesome group. Um, Jeff Bostic, my best friend growing up. Um, you know, off the top of my head, Chuck Sidwell. Uh, I know he's a veteran. Uh, I'm sure there's more in my life that I can't remember off the top of my head. It's hard to remember all these names. Uh, I do want to give a thank you to Eric Frankenberger. Uh, he'll be out here tomorrow. Uh, he saw me on Simonton yesterday, and uh, we exchanged words and uh, had a good conversation. So, Eric, good luck tomorrow out here. I hope you guys get some big catfish. I hope to see some pictures. Um, and, man, I am just excited today to get out with my dad and do some fishing. Uh, yesterday was a long day. I took my youngest son Elliot out on Lake Michigan uh, trolling. We went out to New Buffalo. Probably should have ran out of St. Joe. It was a little hotter bite in St. Joe, but I prefer New Buffalo. We ran out there, and I want to give a really big thank you to Captain Mike Frank with Dialed In Charters. Uh, we were struggling. We were working some of the spots I worked last year, and we just weren't getting a bite on, and I really wanted him. It's first time on Lake Michigan to get his first fish. And uh, Mike went out his way to give me latitude, longitudes, depths, everything. And uh, so I take no credit on the fish we caught on this video I put out. That's 100% on Mike. And uh, Mike from bottom of my heart, I really appreciate that. To see my son catch his first Lake Michigan fish was awesome. So um, took my oldest son out last night. Simonton, as a lot of you guys ran into me out there. Um, we were able to get some bait for today. That was our goal is get some bluegills. We were able to load it up. Uh, so today... We uh, are in an extremely flooded river because we've had torrential downpours. And uh, so it's gonna be a little different animal today. I think today's key with this current is if we can find the current breaks on the slack water. I know everybody says it, fish eddies, fish of current seams. Uh, but I think the key to this is we need to find the closest slow current to the fast current that's still deep water. We're not gonna target four and five foot flats today. We're gonna look for eight, nine foot de uh, deep spots that are just outside the fast water. I think the closer we get to the fast water, the better bite we'll have today. So if you're watching this intro, uh, my idea works. So hopefully, hopefully we see my dad reeling a big flathead and always on this river. And the reason I keep coming back to this section of the river is there is a real chance for a monster flathead on this section of the river. There are 30 and 40 pounders pulled out of here, and uh, man, nothing would make my day better than see my dad hook up on a 30 or 40 pound flathead. So uh, all that being said, next time you see me, we'll be out on the river fishing. So we'll see you then. So let's do, we'll start with your inside rod. So grab that rod right here. Okay. I'll get you on. So the way I do these weights is I kind of just wrap them around like that. So all right. it makes it easier so they're not flailing all over the damn place. And you got it sliding, right? Yep, the weight slides. Okay. It's a three ounce weight. Yeah, big that's, boys. that's a good size in this kind of water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this this is the perfect size to get you on this. In the current, we hook them through the mouth. Okay. When we're not, in, like we're, if we're in the reservoir, we'd hook yeah. it through the dorsal fin. 
Okay. Run it through your mouth. You always want to make sure your point doesn't have any shit on it, scales or anything. And then all we're going to do is we're going to get two baits out of this fish, maybe three. We're going to start with the head and cut right down to see that bottom pectoral fin. Yep. Cut right down to that. See how it's bleeding? That's what we're All right. And then cool. the way Same I thing. do it is my middle lines are my furthest back. Okay. Okay, and everybody does it a little different. I like my middle lines the furthest back, and I try to keep it on the current seam right there. Then it drop to the bottom, and that one's set. This really is a nice place to fish. Right there, right there. Watch that middle rod. Watch it. Watch it. It's the outside one. No, it's a middle one. Watch your middle one. Okay. The middle one just got popped real hard. something different every year. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, wait, wait. wait. Thanks, God, Dad. Real down on real, 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 real. You on there? Yeah, it's right. on there. Get this shower away. Oh, yeah, it's on there. Told you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Different fish, isn't it? <laughs> Different fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, is yeah. great. This is what this is. That's a nice one, too. Yeah, this is a fish, man. This is a fish. I love it. <laughs> you picked that cast, too. I didn't even do that one for you. Let's see, I'm going to get on the current a little bit. He's going to see the boat and run. I'm watching anchor rope. Oh, shit, I can't move him. Well, when he runs the anchor rope, just make sure I'm actually going to fix it. Just because I think it's good. I think it's a bigger fish. Good. I think you're right because it's pulling like a son of a bitch. Man. Oh, he saw his mouth. Yep. Yeah, that's a that's a flathead. That's okay. I'm sure of it. Watch the motor. Keep your rod that way and keep it from the motor. There you go. Don't want to touch a boat. You know the deal. You taught me. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Keep him that way, Dad. Keep him from the motor. There you go. Yeah, baby. Circle hooks, they hook them good. Don't let them touch a boat. Don't let them touch a boat. Yeah, put your rod in the water. There you go. Yeah, you got a nice one on Pops. Yeah, it's a big fish, man. Yes, sir. Alright, stand back. So I can have the deck. That way I can net it for you this time. Yeah, baby. <laughs> that is a big fish. You might have got it, a 30 pounder. I hope so. It's a big one. I've never felt a pull like this. He's owning it. <laughs> well, he's hitting it like a flathead. He's hitting it like a flathead. They're full of energy this time of year. The water temperature's warm. Doing great. <laughs> you want me to move that rod out of your way there? No, it's okay. okay. <laughs> right now. He's going to take me wherever he wants, though. So. Enjoy it. I am. This is great. <laughs> this is what you live for right here. This is what I wanted today. I really did. Oh, he's close. Yeah, you're a nice fish. That's a stud. It's a channel, too. That's a 25 pound channel right there. Good. Easy. Don't, don't, let it get, don't let that sinker get to your eye, like, because it'll break it. Huh. Okay. 
I couldn't even deal with it, you know. I thought I was distracted, dude. One more. One more. Got him. That is a tank! <laughs> <laughs> hee <-haw. laughs> This is a... This might be 30. Alright. This might be 30. Dude. <laughs> that is, uh... What you see on TV shows, <coughs> not in your boat. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Holy shit, man. Good job. <laughs> that was wonderful. And mouth hook, that's what you want. The circle don't mess around. Now you know why I use 8 off. Yeah. Or 10 off. Oh, yeah. Look. I'll show the camera real quick. Look at that. Tank. I'm gonna stick them on the board there and get a measurement on them, and then we'll get some pictures with you. All right, so the largest measured catfish last year, channel cat, was 35.12 inches. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I got one that was 36. Watch this. Board 33 and a half. I don't know if you want that. Alright, survey says. Seventeen point eight seven pounds. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's had breakfast. <laughs> Alright, you just hold it right here. Oh just hold it. Here. Yeah. You gotta hold it on the side, man. It's not, it's just a catfish fisher pops. Yeah. I love it. All right, pops. Let's let your pig go. Nice job. One last look at it here. Look at that. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Freaking stud. Stud. Thank you very much. It's a great yeah. day. Gave me a hell of a show. It goes. No worse for the wear. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Let me show you guys my rig here. A simple setup since we broke off. It gave me a chance to show you how we do this. So we're just running 25 pound big game. And we got this simple slider system with the snaps wheel on it. Alright. And then you take your swivel, tie that on. It's simple. Rehand trilene knot. All right. And then you're going to take your leader line, which is also 25 pound big game. Right, the other side. Same thing, trilene knot. inch leader and then you're taking your Gamagatsu circle hook this is a six aught and I always do a Palomar knot on the hook boom Go overhand the loop and you hook back through <laughs> and that's it don't mind my dad he's got the Brona <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. and then trim I wear my mask. And it's about as basic setup as you can get. And then we're gonna take our three ounce weight right here. We're running three ounce diamond weights. And we're gonna hook that to our snap swivel. And what I find most of the time is when I do get a snag, which is inevitable in the river, is I usually break off my leader line, my hook, before uh, I break off my weight. So, and we're gonna run. I'm going head hunting. No, actually, I got a smaller guy I've got to hook on here. I'm running this little guy. I like the 
expose that gut pouch just a little, send this set through. I'm always trim the back. I don't know why I do that. I really, you know, there's anything proven that that does anything, but there it is. It's a river setup. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's put it out there. I'm trying to top dad's fish. That one's gonna hook up. That one's gonna hook up. That's the head section. That's a, that's a good fish if it's eating on that. I should let him take it. Get too damn antsy. Me. No, you can see it. It was a big old giant flathead. Yeah, Thirty pounds. Yeah. Thirty pounds. <laughs> 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 this no, is why I hate these little hooks. <laughs> I think he's got it. Damn it! Patience, Johnson. 